Good morning, good morning, good morning. Bueno, si es mi gente, yo, yo. Welcome to Daily Discipline number 913, primarily in a row. My name's Rob, happy that you're here. Honored and humbled that you keep coming back, like for reals. Hey, um, and when I say that, I mean that, right? Like I recognize that I don't post every single day. You know, there, there's, there's been a few that I've missed. Some days I'm late, so I appreciate it. Um, appreciate your interest in me. Seriously, keeps me going. Um, yeah, it's Tuesday. On Tuesdays, we talk about having a positive mental attitude, how important it is to just adopt it. And 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 just that today's a great day to have a great day, right? The date for 2021, that means it's my nephew Liam Chop's birthday. Happy birthday, Liam. Hope you're great. Uh, but it's also a work day. We got work to do. My affirmation statement of the day. Uh, first things first, still the realist. I'm also wise. Yeah. Wise is when you learn, right? You're not born with wisdom. You accumulate wisdom. You learn. You ask a bunch of questions. You see how things are, and you're like, okay, I'm going to stick that in the memory vault. Remember that for next time. Uh, on to our real talk. Apply grace egregiously. So I've been working with Sam, you know, trying to incorporate some, some words into his vocabulary, right? And so we worked on the word rigid. Uh, yesterday, in the course of the conversation, we came across egregious. And so I was thinking today, I'm like, how can I incorporate that into my daily discipline? Like, apply grace egregiously. Think about that, right? Egregious is usually only used in a negative uh, connotation, but it, it, it means exceptional. So it could be exceptionally good or exceptionally bad. So apply your grace exceptionally well. Do it better than anybody else, right? And again, uh, just so we're all clear, uh, I don't, yeah, treat others the way you want to be treated, until they prove that they're gonna just treat you like crap and then you just move on, right? Now, I'm not talking about applying grace egregiously towards those people, grace abusers. I'm talking about people who deserve it, right? And you'll know. You'll know when you're in a situation, somebody needs a blessing, they're right there in front of them. Respond with love, respond with grace. Uh, here's your daily reminders, be aware. Be aware we're all connected. Something bigger than just whatever it is that we're focused on. Be grace, right? Be that person, be the one that people are like, wow, that was very nice, right? Very kind. Be the light cracker. When you when you show grace, you are the light. Let's do our uh, thank yous. We're done for the day. Number one, God is good. God's been so good to me. What an amazing life. I'm a little distracted right now because I just got a phone call from uh, my co-parent. I think Jack might have broke his wrist or something. I feel bad for him. Uh, but he fell out of the treehouse the other day and he's been complaining about it ever since. So we're going to have to get him checked out. Um, yeah, but thankful that my dad's here. Um, you know, just uh, thankful that Sam and Cholo, we, we did some work on the backyard that looks amazing. Thankful for the job that I have. Just very, very thankful, right? Uh, so with that, we're done for the day. Hands up, peace out, we're better together. Uh, remember, apply your grace egregiously. When you, when you have the opportunity to bless somebody, don't pass it up, take it. And then do a great job, right? And then come back tomorrow on hump day and we'll talk about, uh, yeah, hump days. Deuces, hashtag real talk. Love you guys. See you, bye.